Um, yeah, so um, I rep I'm representing the State Office for Water Management. Uh, we um, belong to the Bavarian Environment Ministry. And uh, for the ESA plan for this project, we worked together. Uh, we financed the project together, so I'm representing not only the, um, the state, but also the city of Munich. And uh, it was a very, um, yeah, a very important goal that these two institutions work together to realize the ESA plan. The ESA plan, um, I've called it the Great Unexpectations, because uh, the project began as a project for flood management because the ESA had a great, it's an alpine river, had a great number of floods which destroyed uh, bridges as well and uh, previously and the idea was flood management and what happened out of flood management was restoration for an entire um, eight kilometers including uh, recreation, ecological goals, um, including social goals and uh, the project has been a big su success we have about um, 20 to 30 international delegations visiting us every year. Some of you uh, from the Restore project have been to Munich as well. And um, yeah, um, I think I live at the ESA and uh, uh, not out of the, uh, not because I love rivers, uh, I love the project and uh, the, the success of the project is, is so great. Um, that's, that you just see for yourself. <laughs> So the, a quick uh, few facts about the project, uh, eight kilometers, the planning start was 1995, the construction begin 2000 and the end 2011, so the project has been successfully completed. 35 million, I've heard uh, a lot of feedback that this is quite a large budget for a project. Again, um, yes, it seems very large, but it depends on who you ask. I've uh, had a delegation from uh, Munich uh, Reinsurance, for example, and they said, wow, that's cheap. So. It depends on who you ask, and it depends on, on the measures, really. Um, high public acceptance. The project has been taken on very well. Um, and high <coughs> use by the public. Maybe a bit of abuse as well. Um, and you'll see in the content of my presentation why uh, I call it abuse. So that's a map of uh, the project area. The total area of uh, the ESA flowing through Munich is about 14 kilometers. The project area is 8 kilometers long. This is the ESA in its entirety. So we have the ESA beginning in the, Alpa in, um, in the, in the Alps in Austria, in the, um, it go flowing through Bad Tolz, coming down through Munich, through Moosburg, Landshut and flowing into the Danube. So the ESA belongs to the catchment area of the Danube is um, 270 kilometers long approximately and uh, has itself a catchment area of 9,000 square kilometers and a high discharge of 1,100 cubic meters per second. This was not, uh, uh, the, these floods of 2013 in June was not a 100 year flood. We had um, a high discharge of 755 cubic meters per second this year. So. Um, and there were no great, um, there were no great uh, problems experienced in the city of Munich. Further downstream, yes, through the ESA, but not in the city. Right. Um, a quick uh, look at the highlights of the project. We had a couple of um, uh, areas where we had tree stands on the dikes, and removing trees in a big city like Munich is uh, is absolutely. Yeah, a uh, no-go area. So we had to keep those tree stands on the dikes, but we had to still uh, enforce the dikes with keeping those tree stands. And uh, this was a method called mixed in place. It wasn't, it's a very expensive uh, method. Um, we had to apply it for a couple of sections only. And yeah, this was a successful modeling of the river section. Uh, not the whole eight kilometers, nor, uh, nor um, just 1.5 uh, kilometers uh, of the project was modeled uh, on a scale of 1 to 20. Yeah, um, I'm going to go really quickly through that because be I've been told I have only five minutes. It's like, whoosh. Okay, um, UV treatment of uh, water, uh, that wasn't as part of the project, but it's a side uh, effect. 
uh, bathing is possible through this um, method, removal of uh, barriers for fish, and of course stakeholder communication, very intense stakeholder communication. <coughs> so what are the multiple uses? We have ecological protection zones, uh, it's a, uh, we call it Landschaftsschutzgebiet, like a landscape area that's protected, recreation, cooling uh, of a power plant, um, improvement of microclimate, stormwater drainage, can channelization, etc. So you see here the, the intense usage through the people um, of this area. Um, of course, we have certain issues with, uh, with the diversity of land use. Cultural preservation, urban use versus ecological protection, that's a big uh, issue. The people want to go to the river and, um, and barbecue. Then, of course, that doesn't, uh, that doesn't help the ecological situation. So the management of different in interest groups is a big problem. What were the unexpected issues with the ESA plan? Of course, conflicting. Uh, va uh, conflicting values, conflicting uh, views of stakeholders. Um, some wanted ecological uh, protection, the others wanted uh, a beach to uh, enjoy. Um, the, the people who lived there didn't want uh, parties because it would be too loud. So we had to bring these people together and at one table and assure them it's, it's not going to happen. And uh, of course we had a, a deal, a contractual deals, um, issue with contractual deals uh, and um, uh, the, the timing of public participation was very important, at what time you bring in the public, before, early enough in the project, and not too late. <coughs> and now I see the problem with the, um, the issue with the ESA. The success has brought so many people that this area is not so valued. The people leave their garbage there, they leave the glass, and we have a big problem with glass and broken glass in the river and on the, on the side. So it's kind of a free uh, good. The river is free and anyone can uh, enjoy it, but it's not valued. And uh, this idea to make people value a, a free good, that is a challenge for us. So we are trying with posters and presentations to, to explain to people the, the value of this river and also the ecological value. But um, to put this into monetary terms is still a challenge. Yeah. So I thank you for the attention. And this is a picture from the flood, uh, from the recent flood. And um, yeah, I welcome any questions. I have a few DVDs on the table and a flyer. So if you're interested, you can take that. Thank you.